Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video, I want to talk about a new launch from Makeup Revolution. So they launched a new line called Planet Revolution, and it's their take on clean beauty, sustainable beauty. I saw they launched blush. I saw they launched blushes, and I ordered them so fast, so fast. Um, so I ordered all five blushes. These are in glass containers. They are meant to be recycled once they're done. I don't know if I will actually see myself going through it because this is a lot of product here. But that's kind of the direction that the brand is going in. Well, at least the Planet Revolution. That's all I really know about it. It's, 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 it's such a fresh new launch. So you know me. I see blushes. I'm like, yep, I want to try it. So here we are. I picked up all five blushes that they had. They were on sale. Um, I think it was like, I think they were like eight bucks a piece, but no, they weren't on sale. I used Trend Moods discount code. Um, I'll write it down in the description box. I think it's like Trend Mood. I think it's just Trend Mood, but I got all five. I do have swatches for you. So I'll give you a quick rundown on them. It's supposed to be a dewy, creamy blush. Um, you can use it on your lips. You can use it on your lips, cheeks, eyes, anywhere. Um, they're called color pots. And if you are in the like the clean beauty, like you like to see clean beauty, there is a brand called Ere Perez where they have something called, I think, carrot color pot, pots. So I don't know if that's like the uh, inspiration for this or if it was RMS Beauty, but those are the two brands that are coming into my mind right now that have blush in a glass container. Now you get 0.42 ounces of blush in here. Um, that's a nice amount, especially for the price. So let's cut into swatches and then we're going to come back and I will apply everything on myself. All right, here are the swatches. Peach breezes on the left, then it's fresh raspberry, coral pop, sweet rose, and blushed cherry. All right, the blush, the blush swatches are really pretty. They are very dewy. And in my opinion, I feel like they can be built up. So it's my first time actually applying them to my face. So we're gonna do that together. And yeah, and if you haven't already noticed something a little bit different in this video, if you follow me, um, I did get a camera. So now I am reverse, I am the correct way. Um, I'm not like mirror image because I used to film on my phone. Now it's a camera. So I'm hoping the quality is better. I'm excited. I still need to learn it and I'm messing with the lighting still. So I got to get used to it and yeah, just wanted to tell you that. Okay. So first let's start off with the shade Blushed Cherry. These do have an extremely subtle, like kind of like a rose scent. To me, that's what's coming into my mind, but I'm going to do one on one side, one on the other side, take it down, reapply. So, Blushed Cherry is first. It's a nice, pretty, like, nude color. These have an interesting... It's not overly sticky, the blush. It blends out nice. It's emollient, that's the word I was looking for. It's rather emollient. But it's pretty. It gives you a nice sort of flushed look and with blush cherry I feel like it actually goes really nice with my lip color so what do you think about that very nice you know what these remind me of too make beauty I don't know what's up with that brand if they're here if they're not if they're reformulating things they used to have um, bronzers and blushes it kind of reminds you of that consistency if you're familiar with it all right on this side I'm gonna do the shade sweet rose which is this pretty shade definitely apply a little bit because a little goes a long way I would say blushed cherry. This one is a like a soft kind of nude color. Sweet rose has a little more vibrancy to it. It's like your it's not a muted rose because it's got 
a little more pigment to it. But it's still wearable every day, kind of blush. Super pretty. Both can be worn kind of on the natural side. I would say Blush Cherry is the most natural looking one. Next up, I'm going to do Peach Breeze and a color, I'm sorry, Coral Pop on this side. So this is the Peach Breeze. They apply nicely, I'm just kind of tap tap motion. They definitely leave your cheek with like a nice dewy glow, which I do like. You can see that pretty sheen. This color is pretty too. Very like springy. Let's do coral pop on this side. That's a bright color. Oh, that's a bright color. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Pigmentation is there with this color, for sure. I would go with a super, super light hand um, with this one. It's funny, though, because <laughs> it's called Coral Pop, but I don't think it's very coral. It's almost like... It's almost like a hot pink. I think this would look stunning on those of you that are like tan, rich, deep skin tone. That's super pigmented. Like, it's very pigmented. Very pretty though. Color is there. It's pretty consistent. Um, there's a nice glow on both sides. This color might be too... Um, it's got too much pink, like it's too blue based for me, but it's, it's pretty. All right. Last, but certainly not least, is fresh raspberry, but I gotta take this off. Okay, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put more foundation on. My cheeks get red, like when I have to do the, um, like multiple shades of a foundation because I guess like from the rubbing it just gets very very red okay back to normal all right last but not least like I said fresh raspberry I was so excited about this color because I just love reds a lot I don't know um, but after coral pop I'm curious to see how this one's gonna translate on my skin tone so I'm gonna take a little bit You know what? I'm gonna take my e.l.f. stippling brush. I feel like with these, because they're so pigmented, I think probably applying them with like a stippling brush is a good idea because it's gonna blend it out. It's gonna kind of distribute that color nicely. That's pretty. So this is fresh raspberry. This looks like I went for a run and I'm flushed, and I like that. Much, much better. What do you guys think? I like it, but you know me, I like blushes that have like that red, that pink, or not that pink usually, but you know, like a nice color. Anything that's dewy, like I'm there for it. So, my thoughts on these, and these are really, really beautiful. The price point is amazing because you get like almost half an ounce. Um, the packaging is cute. I'm a sucker for anything in a glass pot. I don't know why. And I love like the font and everything. Obviously, we're not here for... Well, I don't know. Maybe some of you like packaging like I do. But the packaging, I'm sold on. I love that it's in a glass jar. The colors are pigmented. I highly suggest that you kind of go like very, very soft, light hands. Um... You, you can you can get very good coverage with this 
there's no doubt in my mind. And you can also sheer it out, which is really good. I'm happy about that. Like this, this I'm happy with. I think anybody who, like if you're medium, deep, tan, rich skin tone, I think you're going to love Coral Pop. I think medium tan will probably get away with Sweet Rose. And if you're deep, rich skin tone, you can also use a fresh raspberry and possibly even like tan skin, I would say peach breeze. Otherwise, these pretty much work across the board for anybody. But those are the ones I would say that are going to really pop if you have more color than I do. Um, so yeah, I like it. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing day.